And of course, next case, Great Challenge 7. Of course, from Mirei at the Digilab. You must be feeling proud of yourself. I still have more challenges for you. Can you win against those guys? 100,000 yen, 300 Cyber Sleuth points, 3 full revival sprays, and 3 multi recovery DXs. Nice. Let's do it. Great Challenge 7. Investigation start. Alright, let's see who we go up against this time. I think I might know. Looks like you beat Gankumon and Jessmon. Right then. Next up, go to the Valhalla server. You definitely won't be disappointed. Alright, Valhalla server it is. I think I have an idea on who we're going to be facing this time. Alright then, next up, Valhalla server. And of course, like always, since this is going to be quite a walk, so I definitely want to turn those off. <laughs> Well, we're not walking, we're running. <laughs> Alright, let's see who we go up against this time. Oh, not yet. We're having to go through both areas this time around. Well, still. <laughs> we'll find out shortly, won't we? Alright, here we go. Nope, all three areas. <laughs> Got you again. Yeah, it's like how we did that case with, uh, that Boy A case with Arata. We only had to go through, I believe, one of one uh, area of the Valhalla server, and then all of a sudden we just, you know, we went to the very, very last area, under zero. Hmm, since it looks like we're going to under zero... I suspect we're going to be going against Omnimon, because that's where Omnimon first made his made his debut. Yep, there's Omnimon. Oh, but wait, he's not the only one. Gallantmon and Alphamon are with him. So this is going to be a this is going to be quite the fight. <laughs> quite the fight. <laughs> that's quite a lineup, though. I forgot to heal up. Well, I believe I walked past a, uh, a terminal that can take me to the Digilab. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I remembered. All right. Now we can get ready for the fight. <laughs> So this one's going to be a bit of a toughie. Now we're taking on three Royal Knights at the, at the same time. Okay, so just in case. Alright, let's do it. As a knight, I cannot refuse a challenge. The honorable choice is probably to reconsider and step down, but... Even so, if you challenge me, I will show you no mercy. Attack me with all you've got! So we're having to face all three of these guys. Okay, so first, I'm going to definitely want to put the bug on the vaccine. The vaccine Digimon. Let's see. I'm probably going to go with... Probably, I'm trying to figure out which one I should save for last. Well, I could probably take down the 
uh, vaccine once, then save Gallimard for last. You know, let's do that. So we're going to bug the vaccine types. Just go away at them. 2,000. Um... I'm not exactly sure, because look at how many turns they've got. Well, I think I might as well go ahead and at least buff my Digimon. I think I might as well. I still gotta bug Omnimon. Alphamon's Inheritance. So both of them get the Inheritance from a Digimon I defeat. So with Alphamon's Inheritance, they get defense up. So with every single Digimon I defeat, they get inher Inheritance. So the last one that we have to take down will be a bit tougher. But first, I want to make sure they don't have the advantage over Belphamon. Because Gallimon won't really have that much of an advantage on my vaccine types. Cross counter. That way he'll be able to counter any one of my attacks. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what? I think I can probably take down Omnimon with Belphamon. I mean, sure, he'll have an increased defense, but let's give it a try. Great Tornado! Ah, I didn't take him down, but that's okay. Even buffing up their defense even more. Let's kind of get more speed. I have the need for speed. Really wants to get that uh, defense up. And their attack up, too. <laughs> They're just buffing each other up like crazy. Good gravy. Well, at least we'll go ahead and at least damage him. Gift of Darkness! Oh, it almost took him down. Almost took him down. Almost. Almost took him down. That was way too close right there. Way too close. Another critical charge. So yeah, I think I'll just stick with my plan. Take down the uh, vaccine Digimon first, and then we'll save Gallimon for last. There goes Omnimon. Omnimon's inheritance. Intelligence up. Ah, uh, it's gonna end up going down to Belphamon. Ah! Uh. Look at how tough he is. Look at how tough he is now. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to refill some of Belphamon's uh, SP. Well, well, since it's going to go right back down to War Greymon, I think I might as well go ahead and play it safe and keep him in here. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Lightning Joust! Oh! Okay, good. Fortunately, I can't really do anything. So we'll just use Great Tornado to finish it off. There he goes! Twenty-seven thousand six hundred experience, thirty-six thousand yen, an Alphamon medal, an Omnimon medal, and a Gallantmon medal. Nice! Quite a quite a uh, trio, quite a trio to face off against. Investigation of Great Challenge Seven complete. Report back to the detective agency. Oh, another Digiline email. And it's from Metal Guru Mon. All right, we're out of here. So I think with that, we've taken on every single Royal Knight, except for one. 
Hmm. I wonder what the next case will be. I wonder. Well, we can find out whenever we get back and slap this case down. Because unfortunately we have to take this long walk, or run, excuse me. I keep running into the, uh, the uh, codes. <laughs> run, you're running into the codes, dang it! <laughs> We just have to go through this quite a bit of a run to get back to, you know, to get out of the Valhalla server. So, I wonder which Royal Knight we're going to be going up against in the next case. I could go ahead and go in and hop into the terminal. <laughs> Running into the codes again. I could go ahead and hop in the terminal and heal up, but I can do that whenever we get back. I could have sworn I've taken off the encounters. Or unless they reset uh, after exiting the under zero. Hmm. Well. But, but still, I remember, you know, turning off the encounters that one time we went to Odaiba after we defeated Exomon. And hey, I still got an encounter despite all that. Well, I guess it's a bit different, since I did come from under zero, and you don't normally encounter any Digimon at under zero, if I remember correctly. Anyway, we're out of here. We logging out. And let's slap this case down. BAM! So we got those. That was no pushover you just fought. But don't forget that the real thing is something else altogether now. Hee hee hee. Oh. I guess you're referring to yourself since we just defeated a uh Alpha a copy of Alpha Mon, so you're basically that you're you're the real deal. So <laughs> Yeah, I get what you're trying to go for there. So we unlocked Digivolution to Omnimon, Alpha Mon, and Gallantmon. Oh, but wait, there's one more case. Great Challenge 8. Mid I make a girl at the Digilab. Actually, can I ask you something? Do you know the Omni Sword? This is the last challenge. 100,000 yen, 300 Cyber Sleuth points, and the Omni Sword. Hmm, I think I know who we're going to be facing. Great Challenge 8. Investigation start. I know exactly who we're going up against. So, for that, I'm going to heal up, change my lineup, and talk, well, talk to me and then change my lineup. Omnimon, Alphamon, and Gallimon. You're telling me you beat those three? That's amazing! <laughs> I know. I'm sure you'll take down, take Imperial Dramon down no problem. He's in the digital world. Go show him what you're made of. That's right. The Royal Knight we're going to be facing off against this time is the founder of the Royal Knights, Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode. I still don't understand why they didn't, you know, make Paladin Mode have an appearance throughout the story. They only put him in the last uh, Great Challenge case, because he is the founder of the Royal Knights. Like I said, if they were to uh, put him into... If they were to have put him in the story, no doubt in my mind he would have been a good Royal Knight. No doubt in my mind. Okay, so I'm going to have to put uh, Jessmon into the lineup. Because we'll see uh, We'll see later. Or actually, maybe I don't have to put him in right now. Maybe not right now. But I'm definitely going to have to do that during the battle. Alright. So let's take the shortcut. Shortcut back to the top of the building. Let's go into the digital world real quick.
And there he is. There's Imperial Jermon Paladin mode. The founder of the Royal Knights. Still, I can't stop saying on how they did not include him in the story. I mean, how could they just leave him out? I mean, he is the founder of the Royal Knights, like I keep saying. But still, a Royal Knight is a Royal Knight. He should be put in there. Alright then. Let's do this thing. Do tell me of your fighting prowess, good sir. Please show me the strength you boast of. Alright, here we go. So we're taking on one Imperial German Paladin mode plus his two illusions. So, I mean, I guess you can say three, but here's the thing. The Imperial German Paladin mode in the center is the real one. The, uh, the two on the outside of him are his illusions. We cannot damage the real one yet. So we have to take down his two illusions first. It doesn't matter which order. So we, can, we have to leave the middle one alone and attack either one of these uh, two to start us off. But of course we have to take both of them down. So we'll go ahead and just take one out out of the way. There he goes. <laughs> That's what that severe attack advantage will do for you. Use the bug and then use Belfamon Rage Mode to completely decimate him. Not to mention he's a uh, holy vaccine type and with him being bugged, with Belfamon Rage Mode, a uh, Dark Virus type having the complete advantage over him, it's going to completely decimate him. Alright, so let's go. I'm trying to do what probably would work. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out something what I would want to do. Let's see here. Um... Well, I think I may as well go ahead and do a Great Tornado to really damage him. Great Tornado! Ah, 720. Duel! Break my illusion! And attack charge field. He's gonna really buff, buff him up. And then Holy Light 3. Okay, well at least he's not going for uh, Belphamon. I mean, I like to keep Belphamon in this. I'm trying to hold on at least until I can take down the A the A Imperial Jermon. The one on the outside. A Saint Knuckle. Don't go for Belfamon. Okay, good. But it's still, that really packs a punch right there. That really does pack a punch. I want to at least get my speed up. Because whenever it comes down to facing off against the real Imperial Jermon Paladin mode, that's where we're going to have to make a switch. But for now, let's go ahead and take down this Imperial Jermon Paladin mode. Should take him down. Good, got him. Show me your power. Alright. Uh, I wish that Belfamon came out. I came after right. I wish Belfamon came after uh, all fours Vigeron so I could put the bug on him. Well, I mean, at least I could probably, you know, just do a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, for now, I think I'll have him guard. Okay, let's put the bug on him. Here goes. Now we can damage him. Mental charge field. Ah, uh, we just gotta be ready so that way we can make the switch. Whenever he gets down to very low health. Ah, uh, down goes War Greymon. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna really do something. See how good it does. 24-10. Okay, that's when we have to make the switch right now. Whenever he gets down to, I think, somewhere past uh, half his health, that's when he's going to really go in for the kill. So I'm going to have uh, to... I hope I can uh, uh, do something. I'm trying to find a good, speedy combination. Because I know I'm going to really want to have Jessmon out. Because you remember that uh, Woke Guys uh, move that Jessmon can use? Well, I'm going to have to make him use that. I just hope I can have a good turn. Come on. The Forefather's Sword? Okay, so that's when he's going to start going in for the kill. So I'm going to... Well... 
I mean, I pretty much got it since I got a uh, Jessmon a turn. I don't think his health can go, go down any further. Yeah, no, it can't. After it says the Forefather's Sword, that's when you have to be ready. So let's go ahead and uh, put Welkgeist on Jessmon. And just like before, Welkgeist makes Jessmon not take any damage, and he could counter every physical and magic attack if, if, if he hits him. So Jessmon will be completely safe. Unfortunately, the other two uh, Digimon won't be. So, Omni Sword. This is where he really goes in for the kill. Do you see that? He's gonna keep doing it. He does it five times. Okay, so he's done it three times. He's got to do it two more times, but luckily we can do another Welkgeist. But after the fifth time, that's when we got him. You'll see what I mean. Omni Sword number four. And that Omni Sword attacks all, attacks all your Digimon, so it's really powerful. And here's the fifth and final time. But let's make let's play it safe. Let us play it safe. So yeah, after the fifth time, amazing. That's when he'll his HP will go down to one HP. So the only thing we have to do is just sneeze on him. Just sneeze on him. And then or just you know, just 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 give him a finger tap and he'll go down. <laughs> I wish I had like one of those little items that does damage. Those little battle items that can do damage. But it doesn't matter. So, you just gotta remember. You gotta have... Uh, uh, Jessmon is a good choice because he does have that Welkgeist move which completely protects him. Uh, but that's just one of the options. But Jessmon, like I said, is a good choice. You just gotta be ready. Whenever he says that Forefather's Sword, that's when you gotta do the Welkgeist. And after five Omni Swords, if you successfully... Uh, defend yourself against those five Omni Swords in a row, then you've got him. Let's get him. Achoo! <laughs> so that's how you take down Imperial German Paladin mode. So 30,000 experience, 38,000 yen, and an Imperial German Paladin mode medal. Investigation of Great Challenge 8 complete. Report back to the detective agency. So, with that, we clear all the Royal Knight cases. So, for those of you who were having trouble of taking down Imperial Jamon Paladin mode, well, there is your answer. I mean, of course, this is, uh, like I said, Jessmon is just uh, a uh, really good example. Since he does have that Welkgeist move. Which will completely save you. So then we can get out of here and go back to Tokyo and slap the case down. You know, sometimes I wish I could do an actual sneeze. I mean, of course, that was obviously a fake one. But hey, since I said all we had to do was just sneeze on him to win. So <laughs> I just had to make it, you know, just to play along with it. Alright, let's go back to the agency. Let's slap the case down. BAM! And there you have it. 100,000 yen, 300 Cyber Sleuth points, which after all this time, they still don't matter. <laughs> and the Omni Sword. Great job today, David. You've really become an outstanding person, both as a detective and as a Digimon tamer. Aww. I can't thank you so very kindly enough, Kyoko. Alpha Mine, or, well, either one. <laughs> and unlock Digivolution to Imperial Jamon Paladin mode. So with that, we have cleared all the Royal Knight cases. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch back to my original lineup. And War Greymon. Alright, I'll go ahead and heal up really quick. So I uh, don't forget. 
I mean, because, hey, don't forget, we still got the additional cases. Additional DLC cases, which are the seven deadly Digimon. Of course, I'm gonna go deal with those cases. So, like I said, after that fight against Imperial Digimon Paladin mode, that's all the uh, Royal Knight cases. As you can see, it just goes back to Rena Shinomiya's challenge. So, we completed all the Royal Knight cases. So, I'll go ahead and take a little break. And hopefully that guy's helped you out in, in uh, knowing how to defeat Imperial Jedi Paladin mode. For those of you who struggled with it. I mean, I know I'm a bit, a little over a year late, but hey. <laughs> it helps. Anything helps. <laughs> so, after a little break, I'll start the 7 Deadly Digimon cases. So, get ready for those. <laughs> 